Hey everybody, this is Ray Halstead and Andrew McMillan with REH CPA. Today we want to talk about the self-rental trap. Um, you know, a lot of our small business owners, uh, they have uh, an operating business, but then they also own the property in which the business operates out of. Think of like an attorney uh, who has a separate LLC of which they bought their, their offices and now the operating company rents space from the LLC. So what that's called is that's from IRS standpoint is called a self rental and if you're not careful uh, with how you treat that you can run into some issues. I've got Andrew McMillan here with me today. Andrew can you go over self rentals and some of the pitfalls to look out for? Sure so we want to make sure we avoid what we call the self rental trap which what that means is to use your example, if you got an attorney who has a business, an operating business, and they also own the building in a separate LLC or a separate entity, then that operating business should be paying rent over to this LLC where you're deducting, you know, typically depreciation, interest, property taxes, things like that for the building itself. So what you wanna to try to avoid is running a loss in that rental business because um, by default, a, a loss in a rental activity it's going to be treated as a passive loss um, and passive losses it can get complicated but at a high level passive losses can only offset other passive income um, if you don't have other passive income in your tax return then those losses are just going to get held up and they're going to get carried forward to offset future passive income so a passive loss isn't isn't real great because you can't use that loss to offset other um, earned income in your tax return like a W-2 wage or profit from that business you know that's coming through all that would be income that's like active earned income that can't be um, offset with a passive loss so we want to make sure we understand what the self that you have when you have a self rental and you avoid this self rental trap because again you do not want to run a loss in this business because it's probably going to get trapped in this self rental right. loss. some of the planning opportunities we generally try to push as much try to get as much revenue over there to the rental and maybe pay some expenses out of the business as well and maybe like triple net leases things like that just to make sure you're not running a loss on that rental correct so I mean at the end of the day you need to pay a fair market value rent you know but that's you key want, also you, make you sure do. you're not make sure you're not blown out of the water because if the IRS does pull you for audit they're gonna look and see what fair market rents are I mean be top of market but don't be like crazy sure you want to make sure you're paying a fair market value rent that's top of the market the most you feel like you can reasonably charge there pay that over to the LLC and hopefully that absorbs all of the expenses that you have over there and you're just you know that LLC that rental holding company is operating at really a net zero just breaking even um, that's the goal that's the perfect scenario but if you're still having issues where you're still running losses you can look at potentially doing some triple net leases where you're paying more of those expenses out of the operating business there's some things we can talk about to help try to navigate these self rental um, waters so that you don't get in a situation where you've got a loss that you're not able to deduct. So if you have a self rental, uh, again, like an operating business that rents space from an LLC in which you bought the property um, and you have this self rental, uh, just be aware that if you're running losses in that rental on the rental side, you potentially can't take those losses and that's not good, right? So we really try to plan to avoid that. So if you have a self rental situation where you think you may need help, feel free to give us a call. We'll set up an appointment with you, go over it and see how we can help. Thanks.